in our last video we have seen how we will create a chatbot in AWS. Today we are going to see how we can integrate that chatbot with Twilio. So let's get started. Open your favorite browser then search for Twilio. Open www.twilio.com It will give you this page. Once you are here then click on sign up. Give the required details like first name. I am giving my name as Venkatesh, last name as Kudumuri, then my email ID, set up your password which is of 14 plus characters, then accept the terms and conditions then click on start your free trial. Once this is done you will be landed up verify you are a human to start your free trial. Open your Gmail and open your Gmail and confirm your email. Once that is done you will be you will be prompted to give your phone number. So I am selecting my region which is India and then my phone number. Click on verify you will get a OTP and enter it. Then once that is done click on submit. So we are in Twilio. Now select which type of product you wanted to use. I wanted WhatsApp. Then plan to build. So I am selecting contact center. Then I am selecting with code because I know Python. So click on preferred language as Python. Here you will see a visibility of your code. Then uh, which is your host? I am I don't want to use my host. So I am selecting no. Then activate your sandbox by submitting the I agree. Show me my sandbox. Then confirm. So this is our Twilio. So step one is you need to send a message from your WhatsApp to the given mobile number. So I'm going to do that. Read this out carefully. So because this is your first step, right? So it is saying waiting for your message. Now I have opened my WhatsApp and I have selected that phone number as VK Banks. So I am searching for that VK Banks. Now click on that then you have seen in the previous slide like you need to send a message as join Rainship. So I am going to type that join range ship send right. So once that is done you will get a prompt a prompt or message saying that you are all set up and uh, to and now you can send or receive your messages on the on that particular number. So your step one is done click on the next one next step. So it is a two way sorry it is a one way whatsapp message and you will be prompted appointment reminder order notifications like that. Then just scroll it up and have a walk around then uh, you can you can just send a dummy message to your whatsapp. So I am making a request to my whatsapp saying that your appointment is coming on July 21st at some time. So it, it is it, it is here. So your appointment is coming up on July 21st. So click on your python code to see what is it happening in the background. Now click on show auth token then you will be uh, you will be seeing the account ID and auth token. Just copy them and put it in notepad. Click on next. Now it is a two way message. So see that waiting for your message. Now I am going to my whatsapp and sending like hi, hello, whatever it may be hello. So it is saying you said hello con configure your whatsapp sandbox inbound url 
so i'm just giving a reply saying that uh, i'm going to type something like okay it is already there hello they they this is an editable text message so i got the message from uh, twilio so this is what this one is that simple so i'm going back to my twilio console and click on clicking on next step yeah it will ask uh, a status callback url that's going to be done in few minutes so uh now i'm in uh, my aws console i opened my chatbot then clicked on sorry uh, i need to publish that first of all so i am going to publish it then i'm adding some tags to it like version 1 that's it publish so my chatbot got published and i am going to click on go to channels so here i can select any and one of the thing i am selecting twilio sms in the left so my channel name is so i am giving testing test so channel description is integrating with whatsapp so this bot is going to be integrated with the bot with the whatsapp so i am selecting my alias as dev then account id and the auth token will be from will be asked here so i am going to place them so then activate it will take little time please be patient yeah it got activated it is giving my endpoint url which is nothing but callback url so i am going to copy that and paste it in a notepad so this is my Uh, callback URL. I'm going to copy that and place it in a Twilio. So I jumped onto Twilio. Now, uh, yeah, here when a message comes in, you will be giving the URL which you got from your chatbot. Now, if you click on that, you will see. now i am sending hi to my chatbot now i am getting hello welcome to vk banks i am vk how can i help you you can ask your queries like account balance now i am giving i want to know my account balance as usual as expected so i am going to ask uh, oh, sorry it's going to ask please enter your account number i have given 1 2 3 4 then it is saying hello venkatesh kodumuri you have some dollars in your account so that's it right so i'm going to validate this again with another another prompt like balance please enter your account number i'm going to give some account number which is 9898 then it will give the data which is available in the db so hello steve you have this many dollars in your account that's it so this is how we will integrate lex bot with twilio that's it thank you for watching and if you found this video as informative and helpful for you please give a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you